Algebra 1, number 311D, we're going to talk about solving word problems for consecutive integers. So from the last couple of videos, we now know that consecutive integers are found by a plus 1 or a minus 1 to the previous integer. And if it's a consecutive odd integer or an even integer, we plus 2 or minus 2 to find the larger one or the smaller integer right? Because odd numbers skip count by two and even numbers skip count by two. So if they're in order, just regular consecutive integers, we're going to plus one or minus one to go up or down. But if they're odd or even, we're going to plus two or minus two, okay? And you can see my algebra word problem playlist link in the description of this video, and there might be some other links for similar and helpful videos, okay? This will help a lot. There's like 80 videos for word problems for algebra in that playlist. There's got to be something that will help you, okay? So two pages that face each other in a book have 253 as their sum when added together. What are the page numbers? Doesn't this almost seem impossible? Well, not if you saw the last couple of videos. Think, x is one page and x plus 1 is the second page. That's two consecutive numbers, x and x plus 1. And they're going to total 253. So now we can write our equation. x plus x plus 1 equals 253. We can combine these like terms and get 2x plus 1. Now we can use what we've learned before, the addition property of equality, to create zero pairs. So we have a plus 1 here. We'll take away 1 from each side. Now we got a zero pair here, and we eliminated that plus 1. And we take away 1 from this side, and we get 252. Now our equation says 2x equals 252. Now we could use the multiplication property of equality and multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this coefficient 2. Or we can do it this way, that I'm going to do the quicker way, and just divide both sides by the coefficient 2, because we don't have any fractions in here, right? And that's when we would normally want to use that multiplication property of equality because it creates a fraction, that reciprocal. So this is quicker. So we do 2 divided by 2 and 252 divided by 2, and we find out that x is equal to 126. 252 divided by 2 is 126. Now we're not done because it said that there were two pages, right? And they total 253. So we know one page, x, is 126. Well, we also know the next page is x plus 1, so that's 126 plus 1. So we know the two pages are 126 and 127. And we can check it. We can add 126 and 127 and see if they equal the 253. And look, they do. It equals the 253, so we know we did it correctly. Okay, let's take a look at this one. The sum of three consecutive odd integers is 189. What are the integers? Okay, so think. Odd integers go up by 2. So what do we need to find? Three consecutive numbers that equal 189. So we can write an equation using x as the integer. Then x plus 2 is the next one, and x plus 4 is the next one, because it keeps going up by 2. That's going to equal 189. Now we can combine like terms. I see 1, 2, 3x plus 6. So now we have 3x plus 6 equals 189. Now we can use the addition property of equality to create zero pairs, right? So we can create one here, can't we? And this eliminates this plus 6, and we take 6 away from the 189, and we get 183. Now our equation says 3x equals 183. Now we can just divide both sides by the coefficient, 3, and 3 divided by 3 is a 1, so that's our buddy, the invisible 1, that identity property. And 183 divided by 3, do a little long division, it gets 61. So we know x equals 61, but we're not done because we have x, x plus 2, and x plus 4. So x is 61. So x plus 2 would be 63, and x plus 4 would be 65. Now we know what our three consecutive odd integers are, because that's what we needed to find, right? What the integers were? We know they're 61, 63, and 65, and we add them up to make sure it totals 189. That's where we were trying to get to. We know we did it correctly. See? If you watched the previous video and the one before that, this will make a lot more sense if you just jumped in on this at the last minute. 
So the value of each consecutive integer is dependent on the first integer. And when one variable is dependent on the value of another variable, we just solve for the one and use its value and plug it in to solve for the other, okay? Just like we did here. We found out that this one was 61, and that helped us find these, didn't it? They were, these were dependent on that one, see? Dependent variables. All right, we're going to move on, and we're going to go to 3.12, and we're going to talk about strategies for word problems, okay? I hope I'll see you there, and then after that, that'll be the end of Chapter 3, and we'll be moving on to Chapter 4. Bye.